This is gonna work. I think that was it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today we are gonna be trying to train my clownfish to host my massive anemone. It's not gonna just be a one day thing. It's gonna be hopefully throughout the week and I you know, hopefully it works. If you guys are new here, I post new fish videos every single Friday. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check out the Fish Fridays playlist. There are so many ways, not really, there's only a couple, that people train. This is like training a fish. <laughs> training a fish, that's what this has come to. Check out that cool reflection though. Sick. Okay. So I have done some research on this because my anemone has gotten out of control in size. Look at all these pretty, pretty clownfish hosting their anemones. There are a couple of the more common ways that I've seen people online doing it. One is when they introduce their clownfish to the tank, they put the, they put the clownfish like in the siphon and then the siphon goes directly over the anemone so that the clownfish has no choice but to hover over it until it kind of gets comfortable and gets stung a couple times and then it's like apparently goes back to it and host. That's more of like the the more successful route. However, my clownfish are already in my tank as well as my anemone. The other way is people, when they're gonna put them in the tank, they use like a spaghetti basket and they put the anemones and the clownfish in there together until they kind of like make nice and then they also go into the tank. Also before they're in the tank or if you catch them, I guess, but I'm not gonna catch all my stuff. So that is out. So the next way that I have is the easiest route, but the less successful route, which is using a photo of a clownfish inside of an anemone and pasting it to the tank. People have also done this with actual videos of a clownfish hosting an anemone and supposedly have had a little bit more luck. I'm not gonna try that yet. I like, to, you know me, the most effective lazy person around town. I liked, I should make a shirt with that. Lazy but effective. I like it. I am going to try that route and see what happens before I try the video route. The next problem I encounter is that I um I don't have a colored printer. I do. I do have a colored printer. It's just like not plugged up and it's under a bunch of shit. So I don't feel like getting it. So I'm going to use the other printer that we have, which is a not colored printer. And um, I don't know if that affects it. Like, I don't know if clownfish have colored vision. I, I don't know. I mean... Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but we're gonna try this with the black and white one. So let's find a picture. This one looks like my red bubble. Again, I don't have colors, but yeah, this is gonna be one of them. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. Damn, these are huge. I wasn't expecting to get the tarpon of clownfish um, printed out, but hey, maybe it's like they see it better. I don't know. This guy is literally huge. Okay, so what we're gonna do is my anemone is over here, but my clownfish sleep over here. So I want to put one on each side of the wall so I better my chances of getting these guys to go in that damn little rose bubble tip anemone. Hopefully that calms him down a little bit because this guy can't build the wall fast enough and he's starting to kill off this side which is really pissing me off. Literally flourishing. This right here is where they sleep. From this side you can see that big ass clown. <laughs> His eyeballs are like the size of the actual clownfish. Oh, but look, they're kind of hanging out around there. Interesting. This is cool. He's gravitating towards it. Dude, that's actually pretty sick. Look, he's trying to like get into it. Maybe like right here. Clownfish currently don't want anything to do with it. He was checking it out earlier, so now, I mean, it's just a waiting game. We got it on the left side, we got it on the right side. There's nothing else I could do at this point other than just wait and see if they start getting closer to it. The anemone isn't fully open just yet because my lights just turned on, so I'm not sure if that will kind of have a little bit of something to do with it. I read that they usually just gotta get like zapped once by the anemone or whatever, and then they got her a couple times, and then they become immune to it or comfortable with it or whatever the heck happens with the clownfish and the anemones that makes them host them. Yeah, we'll see what happens. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. It has been 24 hours and we still don't have any clownfish inside hosting the anemone. However, they are not in their usual spot. Now that can be because 
Maybe they're scared of like the tarpon sized clownfish that is glued to their normal sleeping spot. Or it could be because they're not really sure what to do. I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it like another 24 hours ish. See if there's any change. Right now they have not moved from this area. They slept here, they've been hanging out here all day. It, this is just like their new spot, I don't know. They won't go anywhere near the anemone. They either go into the damn freaking anemone or they jump out of the tank. One of the two is gonna happen. 24 hours in and still no clownfish hosting the anemone. But I have high hopes, hang in there. It has been 48 hours and these freaking clownfish are still stuck in the middle of the tank. I gotta say, I thought I was gonna train these things in 24 hours, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I just had like some magic fish whispering, uh, yeah, I don't know. But they're still stuck in the middle so we need to make some changes. We got some new friends. Smaller pictures so they look a little bit more clown fish tank size of the size of these clowns in here. I'm gonna replace the, the two larger ones and put one in the front where they're hanging out right now. They've been sleeping here, they've been eating here, they've been hanging here. They don't go anywhere near the two sides of the tank. So, I mean, this is a little bit more believable. Let's see what happens now when I add this one right to where they've been hanging out. Oh, they're scared. Tripping out. I'm sorry, guys. <gasps> I'm sorry. I don't want to scare you. I just want you to host the anemones. They're much smaller. You can tell they're swimming faster. They've gotten all the excitement. Now they're like in the middle of the tank. They have nowhere to go. I feel like this is not cool to do. Oh, he's kind of close. Oh, look at this guy. That one wants to swim with it. This is going to work. Oh, yeah, he's already hosting it. Oh! Oh, and he dipped. Look at him. This is gonna work. I think that was it. The fish were just too big and they were like, what the heck is this thing? This doesn't even look like an enemy. Like, this doesn't look like a clownfish. This isn't one of us. But now, they're the size of the fish. And the little guy is already wiggling along the wall against an enemy. I feel confident about this one. In the meantime though, I just got my bulk reef supply order and check out what came in it. Bazinga! Reefapalooza. I have never heard of this because I am new in the whole like reef tanking world, so to speak. Back when I did it, when I had my BioCube, I wasn't really too invested into it. But, Reefapalooza Orlando. I'm thinking about going. Have you guys been before? I know they have a couple different ones. I know they have like Orlando. I think they have an LA. Uh, I'm not sure where else. If some of you guys are gonna be going, drop a comment down below and let me know. Maybe we'll do a meetup or something like that. I don't know if anybody wants to do that, but yeah, we'll check it out. Let me know. They're definitely not hanging out in the middle now. They're more towards the left, actually closer to the enemy. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I was going to attempt to cut these skeletons off, but I don't really want to stress them out anymore right now. The torch is doing real good though right there. You guys are so close. Look at that big red bed right there for you. Just back up, back up into it. Back up into it. You can do it. Real quick, Randy the fish oh, whisper. <laughs> Randy is over here uh, training the fish. Had him there, but it's pretty close. He Big boy almost side. got almost in. We're a weekend. Can you believe that these fish are not learning as I suspected? But on the bright side, guess what? I was able to successfully cut off the two large skeleton. My glass is super dirty. I need more snails. Was able to successfully cut off the two skeleton heads that were on this torch here, that's why it's a little small. It did unglue, so I had to take it out of the tank, cut it, and then re-glue it. I don't think this second glue around is as strong as the first one, but we'll see what happens. These guys are hiding out over here now. However, they have been hanging over here. They're just over there now because I think I've been like, I kind of tried to push them towards that corner. It didn't really work out, obviously. They're over here now. But um, still have all three photos up. This guy's really just waiting for somebody to come and host him. It's pretty much just the waiting game now. I'm gonna keep the pictures up. I feel confident that they're gonna go in there. It's just a matter, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you guys have any tips that would help them go in there, 
that we could kind of combine some stuff together and get it to work drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys like this video if you like my anemone if you like my clownfish if you like my reef tank do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button, really helps me out. And if you want to see more fish videos with me, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so that way you guys know when I post fish videos every single Friday. Fish classes are going to keep going on, so make sure you guys are here for it. We'll see you in the next one. Later.